What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Drew Dorsey and these are my girls. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. First of all, happy 2023. We are in a new year. And yes, I'm gonna pretend like it hasn't been five years since the last time I've been here, but the bitch is back. You guys know that I love to do clothing hauls on my channel of my favorite stores. I did my house of CB. I need to do a part two because you know I can't stop. I've done my Meshki video. And now it is time to share my love for For Love and Lemons with you. Y'all, For Love and Lemons, if you've never heard of the brand, first of all, I'm about to put you on. You clicked on the right video. They are based in Los Angeles, I believe, and they make the hottest pieces they have lingerie they have clothes they have dresses they have tops they have robbers they have it all and all of it is very very feminine very floral whimsical it's me it's me in a brand and um i'm frustrated because for some reason i keep gravitating toward these brands that tend to take my rent away <laughs> cute so I do apologize in advance I know you guys have commented on my mesh game my house see me videos like girl can you give us some like affordable stores listen I'm just sharing with you first stores that I love and then we we I like affordable stores too and I don't do this on purpose to you all right I'm not trying to make you break the bank along with me I see something that I like and I'm like oh add it to the cart where is this from cute look at the price oh high rent I don't understand why it keeps happening but it is a trend so I do apologize in advance the prices are a little bit on the higher side I prefer love and lemons, but it's so worth it. Because first of all, I this dress, we're gonna get to it in a second. If this is your first time, and or if it's not your first time, you just haven't hit that shiny subscribe button, go ahead and smack it for me because why not? This store just needed to have a day in the light, all right, on my channel. It would not be right if I did not give it its flowers, literally. Oh my god. But I just want to say, we're starting a new year. It's really exciting because I feel like when a new year starts, everybody has this positive, optimistic, driven, ambitious energy that I really want all of us to collectively just hold each other accountable. I, you guys know, like in my pa my last video that I did, which might have been like six, seven months ago, I talked about how I have been in my in my channel because I just got really busy, and I don't want that to be an excuse anymore. It's like, yes, I'm busy, but you know, there's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. I can make some videos for y'all because I miss you, and I want to be more present on this platform. So, y'all, let's hang out. I'm happy to see you. Let's try out some clothes. We're just gonna get started. First of all, this dress. This dress is one of the first pieces that I bought from For Love and Lemons, and like, hi, you can see why. It is so gorgeous. Okay, it is a maxi. Yes, the back is out. You guys know how I love some back cleave. And it is just so whimsical. I feel like a fairy princess nymph in this, okay? The detail is insane. Like, yes, it is on the, and I have my Invisalign, and if I'm talking funny, that's why. It is on the pricier side, okay? I am not even going front like this is affordable. It's not, but I can see why it does cost what it does. It goes all the way to the ground for me, and I'm tall. I'm not short. I'm 5'8", and it goes to the ground. I don't know if I'm 5'7 in the house, but we grew according to my, my modeling card. <laughs> which I think also factors into the price because a lot of times dresses, they might be on the more affordable side, but they hit me at the calf. And I don't want my maxes hitting me at my calf because that's a mini. I want them to be a maxi. And this one goes all the way to the ground. And if I'm wearing flats, it will drag a little, which y'all know I love me a princess moment. All right? They also have these adjustable straps. So if you have big ta-tas, I know my big ta-ta girls really appreciate when, when dresses have adjustable straps. You can adjust so it fits to your liking. It also ties in the back right here. It also ties right here, so you can adjust this if you want the girls to be closer together or if you want them to be pushed up more, you can adjust all of that. It's just so stunning. Like, the attention to detail that's on here is actually insane. Like, the flower details, the way it cups your wrist. You get this, I forgot what it's like, a billow sleeve. I might be wrong, but just this, it, the princess drape of it all, you know? It gets this translucent material. You get a little puff on the sleeve, so it gives you a little bit of drama. There's a whole bodysuit underneath, so you don't really have to wear any underwear with it. I'm not, because it are, like has a bra and panties with it. You're basically wearing a bodysuit with an overlay over it, but it's so flat. And I don't think that it's like overtly revealing at all. Like it's it's very I hate the word classy. You guys know how I feel about it. Maybe I've never talked about it. Real quick, side note. So my beef with the word classy, let me get on my soapbox. I just feel like it's always used to describe a woman who's covered up and like somehow that makes her like superior because she's not 
wearing revealing clothing. People are like, oh, she looks so classy. I'm just like, what does that mean? Like classist? Cla it just seems problematic, so I don't like to use the word classy, but for the sake of what how people usually define that word, the dress is very classy. Or I would say ethereal. I like that better. The dress is very ethereal and whimsical and just makes you want to frolic in a forest, you know, and like call on some birds, perhaps pet a sheep or a small dog, peaches. She's like, bitch, leave me out of this. It's just like really stunning and it makes me feel really pretty and I feel like a little Barbie doll. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. It's like, I don't know where you guys are watching this from, but it's like torrential downpour raining in LA right now. Hence why my fro is really fro which we love, I'm not mad at it. But however, comma, shout out to Zach Campbell. It probably means I'm not gonna be able to wear this for a while because it's definitely more of a summer spring vibe, which in LA you can usually use all year round, but it's fine. I'll take the rain, we need it. We need to water the plants. We need to get out of this drought, but she will be coming out and making an appearance fully on the gram very soon because I did show you guys the back of this, but y'all need to see the front for obvious reasons. Okay, this is dress number two. This one again is giving very spring, summer. That is uh, spring, summer. Okay. September spring, show um, spring, summer. That's mainly their vibe. Like it's very floral, summery, airy, bright, but obviously you can wear them any time of the year because I've never followed those rules of like, no, what after Labor Day? Says who? Bye, bitch. You can wear this a couple different ways. I've worn this before and I wore it this way. I'm gonna pop a photo in. But you can also wear it this way. It has like a little, little wire hammock for your boobs to sit in. If you have larger girls, this one's a little bit more difficult because as you can see, there's gonna be some spillage, but it's okay because the wire goes all the way over to here. So I think it's kind of supposed to be that way. Not everyone likes that fit. Like, I don't think it's the most flattering, but I also think it's a really cute dress. So this one also has the back out. This is adjustable and it's also stretchy, which is nice. And it has this little detailing that almost looks like like a doily. Let me see if I can get close so you guys can really see the detail. See, it's like this doily material all over. It's not see-through, which is nice, but I will say that the material is really thin. For all my pieces that I bought so far, I would say that the price is justifiable with the other pieces, but for this one, this is like the one dress where I was like, mm, I don't know, like the price tag is kind of steep for what you're getting because of the material. The fit of it isn't tight, so this is pretty much loose material. It's kind of just like laying on your body. I would say it's true to size um because there's not any stretch in this there is stretch on this band in the back which is nice but if you're someone who's a little bit more hippie or just like holds more weight in this area just be mindful that this is not stretchy so make sure to get your size and just look at the measurements i paired it with some white pumps the last time i wore it i wore it with some white heeled sandals you can switch it up you can do a pop of color but i just like this monochromatic white moment because i think it's really fresh and makes me think of a breeze it's like a really cute just summer fun flirty dress you know maybe for a picnic for brunch out to dinner maybe also this white dress on my skin it just pops i'm sorry can we just give a shout out to melanin please thank you jesus i feel blessed i appreciate you <laughs> This is my first time putting this on since I bought it, and this is so freaking cute. Okay, we're gonna pretend like it's steamed. I didn't have time to steam it, but just imagine, okay? Come on, Barbie. Let's go freaking party. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with it. I'm everybody shut up and go home. Watch this video first, though. So. Okay, let me break it down for you. This is a romper. First of all, the top is velvet, all right? This is just, look at the detail. Can we talk about the, the, the uh, uh. Oh my god, the back cleave. It's like makes me horny. The top is velvet, all right? The bottoms are sat. This is my style to a T. It's very classic. It's a nice throwback, but it has modern elements to it, you know? Oh my god, I just, I'm stressed. This is so cute. The only, only, only complaints that I have is that if you have larger girls, like there's zero support in here. Like it's very just like, it lays on your body, right? Like you could figure out to like tape the girls if you wanted to, but I kind of like the idea of it just like laying on my body, you know? It's very androgynous, which I love. If you are someone who doesn't like to be cheeky, the back is definitely cheeky. So like this is my ass right there, but I'm not mad at it because it's, even though it's really short, I feel like it's still tame, you know? Like I said, it's very classic. It looks like you're wearing a suit, but it's short. Oh, this is so good. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Definitely if you do a little dance, like your booty is gonna come out. Like for sure, that's my ass. However, comma, just make sure that you got 
either a thong on or a tampon to catch any sneezes, all right? So, okay, the way that I would wear this right now, I have it with these velvet chunky heel pumps on. I would definitely wear these, but I would get some black stockings. I saw some on this store called Commence. Let me know if anybody's ever tried that store because I might buy some stuff from there and do a haul because it's so dope. I think it's from Korea. But like some black stockings that have a really skinny, like thick line down the back leg, you know? And then they, For Love and Lemons has this accessory where it's like a, it's a scarf, but it's basically like a big rose tie. And then the ropes just kind of drape down from there with a red lip. Oh God, I'm sorry. Freaking put me in a Barbie doll box. The velvet with the satin for me, and it's like a champagne color. It's not like starch white, and it's comfortable. Like I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. You can dress this up, you can dress it down. You know, even though it's short, it definitely has an elegant flair to it. I think it's the textures, I think it's the cut. It's very, it's a throwback old school. I feel very like, I don't know what the era is, some type of pinup, but just like a doll in this. Okay, so I tried to put this one on for you guys, but it would have been like demonetization central because it is see-through AF, so I'm sorry. I did try, but I have to show you because For Love and Lemons is really known for their lingerie, and this is just absolutely stunning. So you guys may have seen this because I wore it in a Clever video, or I talked about it in a Clever style video, but I'm sorry. What? I really, yeah, camera, focus on that detail. Focus on that detail. This is what I mean by everything is so dainty and feminine and floral and me, you know? Like, their lingerie is just, look at, look at, I need you to look at the details. That's so cute. Look at the hearts. Look at the, the at focus camera because this is very important. Look at that. Look at that. Their lingerie is so worth the money. The clothes are worth the money, but the lingerie really just hits. Look at the back. Look how cute that is. Even the adjustable straps are hearts. I'm sorry. What? Like the, let me do the little hand behind so you guys can see that. Look how cute that is. It's the attention to detail for me. I like my boobs to look like a princess and this bra just does the job. Look at the matching thong. Like my ass and Poonani have never felt more loved. The bottoms also have the same detail as the bra. You get the floral detail. You get this is see-through. The top was see-through. That's why I couldn't put it on. You get these little hearts on the side with the bows. Hearts and bows together. Like does it get any more Drew? I don't think so. And then look at the thong back. Look, you get two bows and two hearts just going up your crack. Say crack again. Crack. <sighs> I want all the For Love Lemons lingerie. If you are someone who's like, oh my God, I want to buy Drew some lingerie, I don't know. Uh, For Love and Lemons is where you should shop. I'm gonna put some links below. <laughs> Okay, like honestly, need I say any more? If you're not already obsessed with For Love and Lemons, I don't know what else to tell you after seeing this. I. Everybody literally shut up, just shut up. Last but certainly not least is this freaking cupcake dress that makes me wanna cry, it's so cute. I have never felt more me in a dress. If there was ever a dress that drooled so hard, they never drooled before, it is this dress. So I know to some people this might be like, oh my God, it's a lot, what do you wear? The ruffles, the flowers, the bows, Jesus. But for me, this is Am I gonna cry? I'm gonna spend my period. It's just so freaking cute and feminine, and it makes me feel like a, makes me feel like a little princess. <laughs> I'm about to be 29, by the way. I love the bows. I love the ruffles, the zhuzhing. This is velvet. This is so worth the money. Like. Just before I even put it on, this is my first time putting it on, by the way, I didn't even adjust the straps, just put them on how they were and they just happened to be perfect. I can't even. Oh my God, I forgot to say, that romper that I had on is called the Drew romper, by the way. Isn't that weird? Meant to be. This dress is so worth the money. Like you can just feel before you even put it on that the material is so well made, it's so well put together. Like I just know I'm gonna have this dress for like another 30 years, all right? Here's hoping it fits in 30 years. Fat whore. <laughs> okay, so all the black that you're seeing is velvet. The bows are velvet. This detail right here is velvet. The, this part, the floral part is like, it's like a thick satin material. And I don't know if they bunched it or they like doubled up the lining to make it so thick, but this part is like crazy thick. That's what's keeping it in these like cute little rouges. And this right here is skin you're seeing. So these are like little cutouts 
on the sides. Yes, those are bows in the back. It has a zip closure. Like I said, the straps are adjustable. They can also be removed, so it can be strapless if you want it to be. This is wired, so the girls are gonna be sitting pretty. This is adjustable, like I said, so if you want them to be even closer to your neck choking you, they can be. Or you can take the straps off and just be strapless. But, oh, I like the straps on because it makes me feel like secure and I can dance the night away. My girls aren't gonna come out and poke somebody in the face, but if they do, you're welcome. And I would probably slap some black sheer stockings on with this or not, depending on what the weather's doing. I put the chunky, let me not show you my vagina. I put back on the black chunky velvet heels with this. I think I would probably wear those again with it, but you can honestly, you can like wear whatever. You don't have to wear anything else for the rest of your life if you have this dress. I think we can officially deem for Love Lemons another one of my addictions. Uh, it's here to stay. I won't stop buying their stuff because their stuff, I think, was curated for me. They did, they named that romper after me. I don't care what anybody says, it's what it is. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm so, oh wow, that's soft. I'm gonna go crawl back into a Barbie box for now, into my doll box, but I want to leave you with this. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed another one of my favorite store hauls. Let me know what other hauls you want me to do. I'm gonna deviate from just doing my favorite stores. I'm gonna do some other stuff, just like to try out some stores that I've never tried before. For, but definitely leave me any suggestions that you have. So share if you also love Love and Lemons. Let me know in the comment section below or if you've never tried it before, if you're gonna try it, if this swayed you or influenced you in any way. I'm sorry to your bank account, but ooh girl, it is or boy, it is or they, or it's so worth it, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you feel so inclined and I will see you next time. Bye.